What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Takedown Man. And today, transgender folks out there, all the transgender folks to be watching my video, y'all need to kick the shit out of this dude that I'm finna show you because he is going to make y'all look so fucking bad. That's right. Stick around, stay tuned. Because, yeah, this one really fucked me up. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Takedown Man. And on this episode, guys, we are going to talk real quick about this uh, person. The The name of the thing is called Trans Woman. Pretty much lives her life as a six-year-old girl. And with that being said, it is a very unusual thing. At first the video comes on and you see the person and you're like, Oh, okay. You know, it's just a trans, you know, transsexual person, transvestite, whatever they're going to be called. And well, we'll go ahead and play it real quick for you. She said, stop being trans or leave. So that to me, stop being trans isn't something I could do. It'd be like telling me to stop being, you know, six foot two or leave and I was who I was I was trans before we married I was a trans parent for 23 years though it doesn't look like it but it floored me it scared me because I didn't know how to not be trans Okay, so, you know, you would think, you know, being transgendered and whatnot is one thing. However, the problem is, is this guy isn't just transgendered. He also thinks that he's a six-year-old. He has a mommy and daddy now. And uh, um, a little girl sister that the family has adopted him into. And if this doesn't get weird enough, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to let you guys hear this. And then I'm going to give my thoughts. My reasoning why I have a problem with this, but yeah. I have a mommy and daddy, an adoptive mommy and daddy, who are totally comfortable with me being a little girl, and their children and their grandchildren are totally supportive. In fact, her youngest granddaughter, when I was eight, a year ago I was eight, and she was seven, and she said to me, uh, I want you to be the little sister, so I'll be nine. I said, well, it I don't mind going to six. So doesn't six work that way. But uh, we have a great time. And uh, we color, we do kid stuff. It's called play therapy. No medication, no suicide thoughts. And I just get to play. Thank you, Daily Extra, for that shit. Um, okay, so basically this guy is saying that he left his wife and his kids to go and be... At first, an eight-year-old girl, then a six-year-old girl. Um, and nobody thinks anything's wrong with that. I mean, literally. And, and, and this is why stuff like this worries me, okay? Right here, this worries me because this opens the floodgates for pedophilia if, if this actually starts. Now, you could say, oh, well, he's just, he's not going to be that way, but you never know. He could easily say, oh, well, I'm, I'm a six-year-old now, so I'm just going with the motions, and I believe I'm six years old, and I'm going to play therapy, and, you know, I was just curious to see what it felt like to do this or that, and trying to get away with it. And in the same light, pedophiles could actually use this to say, oh, well, this little girl thought she was 18 mentally, even though she's four. And, you know, because she thought she was 18, though, I thought it was okay to touch her. And eventually some dumbass judge, because let's just face it, them motherfuckers are not always smart. 
they're not always the best things for us. But one of, eventually somebody's going to be like, I'll allow it. Because somebody's going to find some scientist somewhere that says this is a real fucking thing. And it's just like this. You know, this man has a wife. This guy has kids. And he's like, oh, fuck the world. I'm just going to go be whatever. And Daily Extra, you should have shamed the fuck out of this dude rather than making him look like, you know, everybody was mean to him. But now he's living the life of his dreams as a six-year-old. I mean, fucking seriously, Daily Extra? Really? Do we really want people like this up here? You know, to be around our kids and, and act like he's six and eventually go into a school with him and think he's a little girl and be in a little girl's bathroom and changing clothes with your little girls and I mean, there's so much fucking wrong here. And unfortunately, this is a thing. This is a real fucking thing, guys. That's what's scary to me. And I don't know. This this is fucking retarded, okay? I am all for LGBT, you know, whatever, but... Not this, not this. I, I can't be okay with this. Because I just, I see something really bad happening from this. And the fact that somebody was comfortable enough to take him in as their little girl and let him be around their kids or grandkids. A six, seven, eight year old girl. A real one. With a... 47 year old man that would be like me saying oh I'm just this little kid you know I'm gonna hang out with your kids we're gonna play together and it's gonna be okay because I think I'm a kid no it, it, it doesn't fucking work that way dude you're a grown ass man or a grown ass woman however you want to be perceived but you're grown you're well over 18 you had a wife, you had kids, and I see why your wife doesn't want you there now, because she's probably just a little nervous. She probably accepted the transgender thing, okay, because you were probably genderqueer, which means you think you're a woman, thus you also like women, but you think, even though you're male, you think you're a woman that likes women, so you're genderqueer, I believe that's how it works. I'm not 100%, but whatever. Okay, she probably accepted you wholeheartedly like that. Probably cross-dressing accepted you because you say you were in that phase. She probably accepted you good. But as soon as you're like, I want to be a little girl, she's probably like, the fuck? And I would understand that because you have children, dude. And it's going to make her wonder whenever you have all these kids and a wife why do you want to go play with little kids? I mean, I'm just saying, this is a serious cause for concern. And um, this organization down here, the Support Transgender Project, um, if you guys are really supporting this guy, I wouldn't want to support your organization. I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't. Um, because in my mind, and in a lot of other people's minds, it's shit like this right here that gives you a bad name. It's shit like this right here that makes me think you're going to have fucking Namble and Butterfly Kisses at your fucking meetings. It's shit like this right here that makes me have great concern for any children around anybody in your organization. And that's not to say that everybody's like that. However... It's one thing to support somebody because, I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's 2015. People want to be gay. They want to be transgendered. That's fine. But you do not get to go back to little kids' age. And I'm hoping that's something that will never be accepted. Unfortunately, it may be one day. I'm hoping, though, that it's not because, yeah, this is fucking bullshit. And, um, yeah, guys, uh, just, I don't know, this shit fucked me up today. 
I'm going to leave a link in the description to the video so you guys can check it out. Um, feel free to do so. Um, because I couldn't show too much of it just because of fair use. And it's, you know, there's a fine line in fair use. And that's pretty much all I can really do. I can't show the whole story. But you can watch the whole story. It will be the first link in my description. Because, yeah, this is really strange. But either way, though, guys, put your comments down below on what you think about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you guys later. And uh, peace out. Mahalo. This motherfucker.